In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an audio moth tactically accessible in a way that will match all of the instructions that are a part of the Eclipse Soundscapes data recorder role. This one will be an example. This audio moth device already has bump dots attached to its top. It has three different kinds. It has a square bump dot that is located in a location that will help people tactily find where the micro SD card is inserted. There is also a round but flat bump dot located in the spot where there is a micro USB connector on the top right near it. And then there is also a rounded bump dot that is located near where the different switches are for the different modes for the one switch. There's the custom, the USB off and default, which will be important and someone will need to be able to find where this little switch is located. So to get started, you will need these three different kinds of bump dots. You will need the flat round bump dots. You will need the round top round bump dots. And then you will also need the square bump dots. If you purchase an audio moth, when you receive it and take it out of the box, you'll notice that it doesn't have bump dots added to it. So I'm going to add those now to make this more tactily accessible. And I'm going to use this one as the example. So you can notice that, again, the square bump dot is located where the micro SD card is. So I'm going to take a square bump dot and add that to the device. And these are sticky, they'll stick right on. And I'm adding that right to the spot where there is a little picture of a square that looks like the micro SD card, but now we also have this tactile way, not just that flat image. Next, I'm going to take a rounded bump dot and look at my example to remember that the rounded bump dot is at the top area of where it says custom. So it is very small, but I'm going to look closely and find the word custom near the switch. There it is, custom. And make sure to include the rounded bump dot right to the left of custom so that it's still possible to read custom USB off and default, but also so that someone can tactically find where that location is and utilize that little switch that's located in that small divot. And then finally, I'm going to take the round but flat top bump dot. And again, I'll check my example. And that one is located where there is the USB connection. So I will add that right above. And then it will be possible to find tactily where you can connect the USB cord. Now, data collectors won't actually need to collect, need to connect this cord, but it is useful for future use of this device. So that is how you make the audio mop tactily accessible. This video was created by the Eclipse Soundscapes project team at Arisa Lab. You can stay updated on the Eclipse Soundscapes project by following us on social media at Eclipse Soundscapes on Facebook and Instagram.